name indicates, this latest batch of Marvel heroes has been around for a long time, since the dawn of time. The Eternals, as they are called, are a diverse group of superheroes, each with their own talents and flaws, and they've been mostly observers on this planet. Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos? Or any war, all the other terrible things throughout history. We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. Led by Sama Hayek's Ajak, the group became tired of being bystanders and after thousands of years together, were allowed to go their own way and mix and mingle with the humans. Now in a post-Avenger world, the deviants they thought they'd eliminated are back and things are looking pretty bleak. This is what the end of the world looks like. Yep. And that's why Icarus, Cersei, Fina, Gilgamesh, Makari, Kingo, Fostos, Droog, and Sprite have banded together to discover what's causing it and perhaps try to fix it. This planet and these people have changed me. There's a lot of action in this film, which is what the fans want, but the first movie in what is likely to be a very popular franchise feels more like a television pilot. Director Chloe Zhao took on the tall task of introducing 10 characters and explaining their backstories. She does it deftly, but as a result, the movie ends up feeling quite long but shallow. Luckily, there is some humor and a bit of romance to keep the story rolling along.